Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we'll be doing a mini tutorial of this little medieval styled fountain. You should be seeing on your screen all the materials that you need to create this fountain for yourself. And if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel as well, it also really helps me out. But with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so to start off we need a layout for the circle that our fountain is going to sit inside. If I fly over the top you will see the layout for the circle. If you want to pause the video and take a screenshot then now is the time to do so. We can fly down and take a closer look at how this circle is composed. So we have three blocks in the centre, then it goes off by two, it turns, another two, then another three blocks making the other centre and that pattern follows all the way around until you make a circle. Next up we want to replace all of the grass blocks with inside this border with some smooth stone. With that all done we need to fill in the border. I'm just going to use stone bricks for now as we can come in later on and retexture but we want to place stone brick blocks all the way around on all of these border blocks to make up the circle and fill in the rest of the fountain afterwards. To make the centre section of the fountain, you find the middle block here, come out by one on each of the sides like so, then fill in the corners so you have a square. You want this square cube to go all the way up 7 high, just like this, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. We want that filled in all the way around. Now that we have that all filled in, making sure we fill in the centre block as well, come back to the bottom. On this edge we place three blocks, three blocks on the other side, and then two blocks in the centre, just like so. I want to repeat that on all four sides. Now that you should have something that looks like this, we want to take our stone brick stairs and place on top of each of these little pillars on the sides, just like so. Then we want to come up to the top and place one on each of the four edges to make a shape like this. Take our chiselled stone brick block, place one on each of the corners like so. Then place another stone brick block in the middle and one more chiselled stone brick block on top of that. Underneath where you place the stairs, break out the block on each of the sides once again. Now we take our andesite wall and place it on top of each of the chiselled stone brick blocks on the top. We're almost done with the shape now, but one more detail we can add is iron bars on top of the walls at the top. Just gives that extra little feel of medieval castle design. Then we take a stone brick slab and place it on the corners of each of the joins down on our exterior circle, just like this all the way around. Last but not least, place a slab on top of the middle section on each of the exterior walls, like so. Now the final touch is to add some more detail. I'm using stone, mossy stone brick, mossy stone brick stairs and mossy stone brick slabs and I'm going to texture all this to make it look a little bit more rundown and a bit more rustic. So if you do this, it is up to you how it looks but we want it to look a little bit more broken up than just the plain stone bricks and adding all this extra texture achieves just that. Once you have your fountain all textured up and looking something similar to this, you may want to add in some more texture or a little bit less texture, it is completely up to you. But now the last step is to add in the water. So just coming up to the top and the little areas that we punched out earlier, you can place in some water and you can see it flow down just like this on each of the sides. Then you may want to come down and fill in all of the blocks down here so that there's no running water at the bottom and it's just all source blocks at the bottom of this fountain. I'm going to spruce up my little fountain here with a path going around the outside and some bushes and grass as well to make it fit in with the area but this is optional and depending on where you build it. Up. 
all right guys that's going to do it for me today i hope you did enjoy this one it was a quick and mini tutorial here of this little fountain idea so again i hope you enjoyed and if you liked the video please leave a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already thanks again for watching and until the next time bye bye